Okay, we're ready to walk through the French country brochure directions. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with step one and walk you all the way through this to create a new Word document. Um, and then we're gonna change the layout to landscape and the margins to narrow, 0.5. Save it as French country in your computer apps folder. And I have to name it something different because I've been at this a while. All right. Now it wants us to go to the home tab and create a, gal uh, a gallery style. So here's our styles, all right? What they want you to do is to create a new style and you're going to call it French country. The font is going to be Arial, size 16. And bold, and then the color is blue. We'll put a check mark in front of add to template, and then you'll click okay. I'm not gonna do that because I've done it several times. All right, so over here now, you're going to have a French country set up, okay? And mine, I'm going to modify this style because it keeps changing on me. Bold 16, Ariel, okay. There it is, okay. Now it wants me to go back to the page width. So under view, choose zoom and do page width. We're going to go up into the header. So you can do a header and footer here. Doesn't matter, do the blank. All right, wants me to press enter. And then I need to come back up to that first line. This time we're going to, in my header, it wants a different front page or first page. Okay, so we're gonna click that. Now it wants a line, a straight line in here. So we're going to insert shapes and you're gonna choose line. Notice that I'm starting here. I'm gonna to drag to this page or that part on here. I'm also gonna use my shift key because that allows me to keep this straight. So it's not gonna go at a different angle. And I'm gonna stop on 10. or thereabouts. I want to do the outline shape. So still having my line selected. My outline shape, it wants dark blue. Then I have to go back in and change the weight to six. All right. I'm done with my styles group, but I'd still like that format pane for this blue line. We wanna to go to the shadows. So we're gonna format the shape, we're gonna choose shadow. And under the presets, it wants the offset bottom. So this is offset bottom right, and this is just offset bottom. You'll notice that it puts a little bit of a shadow underneath there. 
Now it wants us to go to the footer tab. So here I am back in header footer. And I'm going to go down here to this end with the footer. And we want just a blank one. And this time it wants me to insert a picture that you got from class. And it's the picture of France. I had downloaded all of mine, so I'm going to just go ahead and insert it. And then once we insert it, they want us to change the size to one inch by one inch. We want to change the wrap text in the picture to go in front. So here's my wrap text in front of text. And then it wants us to drag it to the right, like it shows in the in the example. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it over here. I'm going to also show you my example. I'm going to go here and look at my example because if I open the one um, that I had available it doesn't always show it correctly so I want to make sure that I get the one that is correct and in order to do that I need to see here's my PDF there it is okay so it wants me to, sh to have it look like that so it's over here on this left hand side or right hand side. Now it wants me to just close out of the header footer. So in other words, I'm just going to double click on my on my the body of the the document. All right. In the directions, it says to compare, to make sure that your image looks like this. Now it does, if I come back in here, it looks like I've got two. So I'm gonna make sure, I don't know why it did that before too. Um, I'm not sure why it did that. But before you go on, make sure that it looks like that, like it, the, the sample. Now we're going to come back up here. We are going to go to layout. We're going to go to columns and this time choose left. Notice that when you choose left, I get like a three inch column here and a seven inch column over here or thereabouts. All right. And that's that's how it should look. We want to type the words tour description here. Now. Mine is using that French country heading. So I've got it Arial size 16. It is bold. Okay. Tour description. Then I press enter and then I clear my formatting. So it, it's not still staying with that. It wants me to go get the downloaded and it wants all of part A. So I'm gonna go ahead and click all of that. The tour description I'm not getting because I already typed that in. So I'm pasting that information and it goes in there nicely. And it is Arial, size 12. Remember to download the text that I give you from Google Classroom. If you if you don't, it really makes things difficult. And the other thing is, please don't think you can just work with that downloaded copy and paste. It makes things a lot easier. Okay. Now, it wants me to insert the, after I press enter, it wants me to insert the bridge and flag. So we're going to start with the bridge. 
So I'm going to insert my picture. Again, I downloaded everything. You may be dragging this from classroom and that may be just fine. So there's my picture of my bridge. It says we should. Okay, the next thing now I'm going to click off of that so it's not selected. If I didn't, it would delete the bridge, put in the flag. I need them both. So here's my flag. Okay. Now what the next direction wants to remove this, this is step 13. And when you uh, put remove that, they want to remove that sky from the background of there. So we're going to click on remove background. It automatically chooses all of that background. I do want to add, do you see this? I'm going to go ahead and, and um, add that area so that I get that post and I get this as well. All right. So then I can say keep these changes and I don't just have a flag that floats. I actually have the staff that goes along with it. And they want me to have this be two inches. So I want some two by two. Okay. Now the directions say, we're going to choose our, this is step 14. Click on your bridge picture and we're going to go to artistic effects. And the one that they want is called pencil sketch. So click that, we get a pencil sketch. And the height of my bridge is 1.4. It does not tell me a width, so this keeping it proportional, making sure that that's locked so it looks proportional. Okay. What they want us to do now is to do the wrap and choose through. Same with the flag picture. Okay, now it says to change my zoom to 75%. And the uh, click on the flag picture. We're going to go with our wrapping and through here as well. It should pop that picture of your flag. And they want it underneath the bridge, kind of centered, like so. Now, they want me to move this so that it, it goes where it's showing us in this example. All right, so let's take a look. It's between the second and the third paragraphs. Here we go. So I can click on this between the second and the third paragraphs. There we go. And then I'm going to place this over the top of it, right about there. Now, I'm also seeing that it is coming down a little bit. I can move this up so that it doesn't bother that paragraph. Now, step 16, I'm gonna zoom back in so you can see this a little better. It wants me to click after the word providence, which is the last word on the page, and click the layout tab and insert a column break. 
So we're going to break the column break, all right? We may have some extra enters here. We'll get them out as we need to. Paste, copy and paste the text for part B. So there's only that little bit, and obviously I don't want to take the words part B. And we're pasting. Press enter. In the styles group, choose uh, our French country again, that heading, French country. And it wants me to type moments to remember. Uriel size 16, bold, okay, check. And then press enter and clear your formatting. In the styles gallery, um, okay, then they want us to do part C and clear formatting again. So I'm gonna go get part C. And this is all of part C. Copying, pasting. Clear formatting. Click in the beginning of the paragraph where it says find the time. Click the format, and we're going to do the F. We know how to do this. We're going to insert a drop cap. And I got a little too much. Continue to do the drop cap to spell out the word France. So I'm clicking on the R. Click at the last word in this section. And this time we are going to do a section break next page. So I'm clicking here, layout, breaks. Next page. So take a look. This is what your first page should look like. Okay, and I can even zoom back out a little bit so that you can see what this is. But this is how this should look before you go on. Now, here's our second page. I'm on step 25. Change your zoom back to 100%. Make sure the cursor is at the top of page two. Click the layout, columns, more columns, and this time we're going to do three. All right. So columns, more columns, three. And then apply to list arrow. Okay. So find that, apply to, instead of saying this section, choose this point forward. 
and click OK. In the style gallery, we want French country again, and we're going to do the tour itinerary and press enter. Tour itinerary. Enter and then clear your formatting. Part D. And again, the directions say, um, don't worry if that all goes, if the, if the table goes to the next column, we'll get it. So here we are pasting all that we copied. See how it's kind of cut off? We'll make that work. All right. Select the table, and we're going to apply a design tab. So here we are, table design. And it wants us to do grid table four accent one. So take a look. Grid table four accent one. Click that. Change the font of the entire table to a size 10. Auto fit the contents of the three columns of text so that it matches our picture that they're showing us. Okay, so we're going to auto fit. To contents. That way it squishes it all a little bit and it fits in our column nicely. Here we are. That should look like that. We're on step 31. Click below the table and we're going to insert a break. So below the table, we are going to uh, go to layout, breaks, and it wants a column break. And now our cursor is up here. Copy and paste the information for E. So I'm going to copy all of this except for the words your name because that's where I'm going to put my name. All right, so type your name right there because that's where it would be here. Okay, if we'd, if we'd have taken it, that's exactly where it would have been. There's not an extra enter or anything like that. Once another break, column breaks so that we're up at the top of the next page. Now we're going to insert word art shape. Choose the seventh one. Change the text to be French country tours. And it will appear on three lines. So we're inserting word art, the seventh one. It's called reflection. French country course. 
I just typed it. I didn't press enter. It'll split itself up like that. Change the fill to be a gradient of preset medium accent five. All right, let's do that. I'm going down here to more gradients. We can always do this, but the presets. That one's light. It's a light gradient. Medium gradient, accent five. There it is. Medium gradient, accent five. I think that's where it was set. Click at the top of the third column where you see the cursor, start pressing and enter enough times so that the cursor appears below your word art. Okay, so in other words, okay, let's try that again. I think what we want to do is come up here I had to kind of trick itself to get down there. Press enough enters to get below the tours, the word tours. Insert the picture of the house. Change the height to be 3.4. And then change the wrap for this picture to be in front of text. Okay. Wrap in front of text. Center the picture. Picture format. Okay. I just want it centered, so I don't, I mean, I'm just centering it myself. Okay. Open the header. Click the link to previous button so that it's deselected and then delete it. Go to the footer link to previous button, click the graphic of France and delete it, okay? So in other words, we're gonna go here. Open the header, click the link to previous button. See it up here? And then delete the line. Okay, do it the same down here. So click in your footer, link to previous, click that, delete that. And then you should just have the, the map here and the blue line there, but not on the second page. And this assignment gets printed, okay? But I've got your name here so that it I'll know who it belongs to. You don't have to put your name in the header or anything like that. So 
take a look at what it looks like when we're all done. I know those were a lot of steps, but we got it covered.